Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Geary with Stebbin Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas and Greenville Hospital System. Today we're really talking about the role of patient-specific cutting blocks in knee replacement. And um, this has evolved over time in terms of some of the technical of how we do knee replacement and um, if any of that is an advantage to the patient or not. Traditionally, um, whether somebody is not kneed or bow-legged, arthritis of the knee, um, one of our goals is to get the knee straight. And one of the ways it's traditionally been done at the time of surgery is to, uh, with the knee open on the end of the thigh bone or the femur, uh, we've traditionally made a drill hole in the thigh bone. And through that drill hole, there's a rod that's pa pa passed up the canal, the femur. And the angle of that first cut is really made off of that rod. Um, that is a violation of the canal, and so one concern has been is if any of that marrow um, gets into the bloodstream and if that could have any effect on patients, um, if that, some of that gets in their bloodstream, could it affect their um, shower to other parts of their body, their lungs, their heart, their brain. And one of the things that's evolved uh, with technology and over time is the ability to make with a long-standing x-ray, a limited MRI, and be able to make a custom cutting box specific for that patient. So based upon the exact configuration or shape of the end of the thigh bone, able to make a cutting block that is made um, with guidance with engineers and our speci specifications of what we want that we can use at the time of surgery so it would come sterile, something we use in the operating room, and the time of surgery um, with the knee open as an alternative approach to be able to use that to make that first cut which determines that angle which formerly had been done with uh, the rod and the thigh bone. Um, one of the advantages of that again is, is not violating the canal so we never have to make a drill hole in the thigh bone nor put a rod up there. Um, can be a little less invasive. Um, some feel it may be a little quicker. We're also looking at other things including cost containment and using less uh, equipment in the operating room at the time of doing that. Definitely has a role um, similar to computer instrumentation has had a knee replacement in people that have um, let's say hip replacement up above in the thigh bone that would prevent you from putting a rod in there or if they've had a fracture in their thigh bone and deformity from that um, and also as an alternative in, in people that are uh, considering doing both knees at the same time um, some of us feel that there may be less biologic load on the patient with that approach. Um, on the lower leg bone, on the tibia, uh, that we've traditionally um, used, we haven't really made a drill hole in the, in the bone. We've used an alignment rod outside of the bone to make that cut. Uh, but also on the tibia, on the lower leg bone, we can make uh, patient-specific cutting blocks um, that can be used to, to make that cut at the time of knee replacement. Beyond that, the rest of the surgery really proceeds as has always traditionally been done. Um, so that's just kind of a key step. Uh, and we do feel like that in certain patients that offers an improvement uh, or an, another alternative to be able to uh, do the, uh, to actually do the technique of the surgery.